I have a job. Sickle cell uh, is a burden in the region. That's why we are starting a clinic at this hospital so that we can identify those patients and then we'll see how we can help them and start the screening for those who are carriers so that we can prevent the cross infection because it's a genetic inherited disease. We are using this sickle cell camp as for two reasons. One, to give back to the community, as I said, part of our celebrations for the 30 years, but we are also wanting to launch a sickle cell service that is going to be jointly run by Fort Porto Regional Referral Hospital and Joint Clinical Research Centre. And we believe that we have already set in place a plan to ensure that the patients even we see today will continue being reviewed. From the day of this camp onwards, we shall continue now to have a specific clinic for sickle cell. These children are admitted in the general ward and there are also others who come as outpatients and we, managed, we have been managing them in the general outpatient clinic. But going forward we are going to have a specific clinic for them to be able to review them timely and give a more concentrated care for this. We call upon partners to continue working with them. Just here I see the kingdom, the Toro kingdom leadership continue to educate people because the issue of genetic counseling in sickle cell is also very key and this will make us reduce the cases in future.